watched the sea, standing alone, until there was a great retiring wave. He seemed to leap up into it with a mighty bound, and the ship was gone. Truly, Mr. Dickens, it is never so alive as when it is spoken by its author. Oh, thank you. Mr. Dickens! Mr. Dickens! Hello. Thank you. You are an admirer of my husband's work? At the moment, I'm lost in the Copperfield. Nellie has read <laughs> every chapter twice. I am glad. Every human creature is a profound secret to every other. Until that secret is given to another, and then perhaps two human creatures may know each other. Why are you up so early? I must go to London. Mr. Dickens, why didn't you tell us you were coming? A last minute impulse. So, what will you do with your winnings, Nelly? I shall spend it all at once. <laughs> My daughter's a fine young woman. I'm anxious for her future. If I may be of assistance in any way. Do you love him? He's married. That has not stopped him falling in love with you. More gossip in the London diary? You must deny it. You cannot keep her a secret. Yes, I can. He cannot marry me. No, he cannot. There is an insanity to his behavior. You have been in every line I have ever read. You are part of my existence. To the last hour of my life, you remain part of my character. Everyone has their secret, and this is ours.